Okay guys, so it's taking a little bit to revisit this video, but since YouTube decided to basically shadow ban or shadow block my original entry this year of my Alaskan EDC Essentials, I thought it would be fun to create or basically redo that video, maybe in a hopefully less offensive manner. So this is going to be basically my re revised version of my Alaskan EDC Essentials, but I thought we would, since it is summer, let's just say Summer Alaskan Essentials. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump into it. And please, don't forget to comment, like, share, ring that notification bell as you subscribe. That helps the channel out a ton, and it helps me continue to make fun videos just like this. The other reason why I'm making this video, aside from it being shadow banned by the YouTubes, is that primarily a lot hasn't changed since I made the last video, and actually it's just gotten better and better. And uh, yeah, so the world is still very much a jungle out there, so I thought I would take the time to talk about my Alaskan EDC Essentials basic simple tools that are super useful in day-to-day -day life. and. These are not going to all be super uh, obvious, but I hope that they all make sense. So without any further ado, let's just jump into probably, let's jump into the first part of it. So the first part is going to be a gun. Now, I think with the current um, climate and situation with craziness unfolding before our eyes almost increasingly every day, um, if you haven't already got on board for carrying, carrying concealed some type of defensive firearm or weapon, I think that it is definitely something you should do or at least at bare minimum think about doing. So for me, it's a Glock 19X and the only change kind of for summer is that I went from, I swapped the 17 round mag that used to be my backup mag is now the primary in the gun. And on, or on body, uh, on my non-dominant side, I carry the 19 round magazine for a reload. So still altogether a bunch of ammunition, but at the same time, we also are facing new diverse types of situations that we haven't quite encountered yet. So in generalized civilization, or at least in America, so having the ability to um, have enough ammo to deal with whatever situation happens um, is necessary. So Glock 19X, right now I have it in a different holster, but I have it in basically any holster that's appendix carry friendly. So that is my, uh, that's my first and probably maybe most essential uh, carry item. Okay, so let's move on to the next EDC item, or what I'm going to consider items. So the first one for me is a good knife, and that is because, honestly, it's hard to open a bag of chips with a gun. So having a good, solid knife, whether you're opening packages or whatever, is very important. Uh, for me, I don't have a necessarily strict uh, kind of regimen or guideline for knives. Um, I carry a bunch of different ones. This one is kind of more one of my mid-tier kind of knives. This is just a Benchmade Bug Out limited edition um, Blade HQ, kind of special. I just like it because it's super lightweight, super thin. It's also not terribly expensive, so I'm not that afraid to like lose it or damage it. But at the same time, it also is in 20 CV, which is a pretty good steal. So that's my particular knife, but uh, just having a good solid EDC knife. It doesn't have to be this fancy or this special. And following that up is another tool that I think is almost as important, um, or really just as important, and that is a good set of pliers or multi-tool, really. Uh, so this one just so happens to be a Leatherman Charge Plus with G10, black G10, basically blacked out uh, Leatherman Charge Plus. And once again, super nice um, multi-tool. You never know when you're gonna need a pair of pliers or you know, a handy little knife. Um, it just has a bunch of cool tools on it. Of course, you know, it's wire cutters. Another one I use the heck out of is the Phillips head slash flathead will come out. Uh, kind of screwdrivers, so super useful for me. Um, one that I, like I said, I throw in my pocket every time I can. It's not as important as a knife, in my opinion. If I can only choose one, I'd still choose the knife, but uh, I do try to make sure that I'm running a multi-tool in addition to that. 
Next is going to be a phone. Some people will argue, you know, what brand to go with, you know, what you should choose. This, of course, is a Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I primarily carry a Pro Max just due to the big battery size and um, it just meets my needs pretty well. I do, I have changed up the case since the last video. So this is in a, um, what is it, Rhino Shield Mod NX or something like that. And uh, the only reason I really changed it is just because my vehicle has wireless charging and, you know, I can run wireless charging in general. So I have a wireless charging friendly case that still offers a good amount of protection but at the same time allows me to charge my phone wirelessly. So that's just kind of tech related, but it is a iPhone 11 Pro Max and it's good to have a phone. It's good to stay connected and keep apprised of what's going on in the world. So the next two kind of run in tandem and that is a solid paracord bracelet. I like paracord bracelets. I've been making them for years. As some of my original fans will know. Um, but it's good to have a bracelet, especially in the summer, for survival if you're going out and adventuring. You know, having a handful of paracord at your disposal if you need it is pretty helpful. And then as far as watches go, I have an Apple Watch uh, Series 5. And of course, that links with my phone. Helps me track fitness and a whole bunch of different things. Of course, this is also a far more discreet way when you're at work or in different professional environments to check notifications and see what's going on. So you can still continue to stay connected to the world and know what's happening should you need to uh, do anything. So yeah, that is the watch and the bracelet. Okay, so the next two that I like to run in tandem is a solid flashlight and a pen. So with the flashlight, now in fairness, in the summer of Alaska, um, you don't necessarily really need a flashlight as much. Of course, you still might have to go into a dark place or maybe explore a cave. Uh, so having a flashlight is useful for those reasons. But, you know, we are in the midnight sun kind of period of time. So having a flashlight isn't as important. And usually during the summer, I would scale back to a smaller flashlight. But I am pretty happy to say that this Phoenix LD30 is really such a small flashlight that even though it has a lot of power to it, it has a high output, it's still so small that I feel reasonably comfortable throwing it, whether it's, you know, in cargo pants or joggers or something like that. It's not that heavy, it's not that big or bulky, so I can throw it in just about anything. So this really has kind of taken over so this really has kind of taken over and become my EDC flashlight just in general. I no longer really have to scale back to a summer flashlight as I did in years past. Next to that is a Big Idea Designs titanium click pen. And really any pen works. I personally like having something like a pen on me at all times because you never know when you're going to have to write on something, sign in somewhere, sign your name to something. And so it's nice to have a pen that you know where it's at, you know it's accessible. And most importantly, you kind of keep your germs to yourself, even though, you know, COVID is realistically on the decline. Um, you know, it's still nice. There's still plenty of other uh, illnesses or diseases or bacteria garbage out there that exists. So it's nice to have your own pen because you know how clean it is. So that is my pen. So next to that, uh, usually in the same pocket, is a simple lighter. I like to carry a lighter even though I don't smoke. Um, this is plenty handy for any kind of survival situations, whether you need to start a fire in a pinch to overnight somewhere, or if you just forgot to bring matches to start, you know, your um, isobutane kind of uh, stoves. You know, this is really handy to just do a whole bunch of different things, and I use it actually, honestly, a bunch, and yeah, I couldn't, I wouldn't practically recommend uh, not having a lighter on you. I mean, especially something like this little Zippo or even a small mini Bic lighter, you know, you can just throw in a pocket and, you know, if you need to start a fire, you need to, you know, light something up, you can do that and uh, it's just handy. So, okay, so the last of the exact essentials has to be a water bottle, whether it's something fancy like this hydro flask or a simple Nalgene, especially in the summer when it's blazing hot, and you're sweating your butt off, you know, being able to recharge and get a nice cold drink of water 
or even room temperature water is very handy. So I like having a water bottle on me at all times and sometimes I'll throw in an energy drink um, but generally always having a water bottle on me. Okay, so now to some of the things that aren't necessarily exact essentials but are very handy would have to be things like headphones. I like these uh, Aftershock Airs still. I've been running them for a while. They're pretty handy. They fit my needs for headphones. I do recommend, you know, the unfortunate thing about Aftershocks is they do have a little bit of sound kind of um, transmission, so they're not as private as other headphones, you know, other people can hear. But oftentimes with me, when I put anything in my ears, uh, my ears are just weird and headphones don't quite work super well for me. So these bone conduction headphones work pretty well for me being able to hear music. And also at the same time, it's nice to preserve peripheral kind of hearing. Lastly, and of course it makes a lot of sense, since we have midnight suns here in Alaska, in the summertime I highly recommend a good pair of sunglasses. These are Oakley Treebly X's, and uh, I just like the fact that they're polarized, they're blue and purple. Um, I like the way they look, but really just having a solid pair of sunglasses can make a huge difference whether you're driving, hiking, running, jogging, whatever. Uh, they're just super handy. So that is my basic EDC essentials, um, stuff that I try to keep on my body most of the time when I'm out and about or even at home. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless and I'm out.